We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, peace, and light from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. On this last day of our novena, we thank the Lord for the many graces He has granted us. And once again, we ask for His mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the fulfillment of the Father's promise and of mankind's expectation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to bring the peace and justice of God's kingdom. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to reconcile us with the Father and with one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Come quickly, we pray, Lord Jesus, and do not delay, that those who trust in your compassion may find solace and relief in your coming. Who live and reign with you, God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. God is never outdone in generosity. To David, who intended to build in honor of the Lord a perishable temple, God promises a lasting dynasty. The Messiah, Savior, whose birth we are about to commemorate, is the perfect fulfillment of that promise. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side. And he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture, and from the care of the flock, to be a commander of people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you, and I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as it did of old. Since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel, I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes, and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. 
Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say to me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward Him, and my covenant with Him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. Zechariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hand of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Isang napakagandang gabi po sa inyong lahat at sa mga hindi po nagmula dito sa Manawag, welcome po dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag. Meron ho bang hindi taga Manawag, pakitaas po ang kamay? Meron nga. Sino po ba sa inyo ang nakakumpleto ng simbang gabi. Pakitaas ang kamay. Okay. Marami pong mga wishes na dapat tuparin ang langit. Kasi po, sa tradisyon ng simbahan, lalong-lalo na po sa Pilipinas, eh, yung mga Pinoy po talagang nag-aaten ng Misa de Gallo at simbang gabi. Dahil po, noon po sa atin na dapat mag-wish ka at para matupad yung mga wishes mo, eh kailangan makumpleto mo yung siyam na simbang gabi o misa di galyo. Yan naman po sa mga hindi nakakumpleto, kalahati lang daw po ng wish nyo yung matutupad. 
Hindi po. Wala pong sinabi ang langit na ganun. Now, let me tell you what truly makes your wishes or your, make your wishes come true ay hindi po sa dami ng bilang ng gabi o sa kumpleto ng gabi na naipunta nyo po dito. Ang tutupad po ng inyong mga wishes ay ang inyo pong mga panalangin. Ang inyo pong mga panalangin, your fervent prayers at ang kalooban ng Diyos. Dapat magtagpo po iyon yung panalangin nyo at ang kalooban po ng Diyos. Ayun pong kapaskuhan since we consider it very important event sa ating buhay, mga katoliko, kristyano. Dahil ito po yung karawan ng ating Panginoon. Yung celebration po natin kakaiba. We always go the extra mile. We do the unusual. Pag nagsiselebrate po tayo, yung mga pamilya po natin na nasa abroad, hanggat maaari kung pwedeng umuwi, uuwi po sila. We do the extra mile. Unusual. Very special. Karamihan po, minsan kahit kulang sa pera, pero pinipilit na maghanda ng napakaraming pagkain. Kasi nga po, ito ay napakagandang selebrasyon. At kahit mahal po yung kuryente, yung iba ay talagang maglalagay ng pailaw para maramdaman ang saya ng Pasko. Kaya po, pansin niyo po sa labas, napakarami pong ilaw dyan. Ang problema po, napakamamahal ng mga ilaw. Marami, malaki po yung babayaran. Hindi pa natatapos doon. Sa panahong ito, madalas bigaya ng regalo. Yung iba, exchange gift. O dapat may kapalit, palitan tayo. Yung iba naman, ay talagang nagbibigay ng kusa na hindi nag-iintay, naghihintay ng kapalit. Kaya naman po, tuwing Pasko, sigurado po ako, marami po sa atin masaya dahil po maraming natanggap. Kaya natutuwa po tayo, marami pong nabubusog. Pero po, sa kapanahon, kapanahonang ito, meron pong isang bagay na bawat isa po sa atin ay hindi-hindi po dapat natin makaligtaan. Yun po ay ang magpasalamat. Minsan po, dumaan na yung Pasko, masayang-masaya ka na lang, nakatulog ka na. Nakalimutan mo nang magpasalamat. Sa iba, busog na busog. Kung di pa dumighay, eh hindi pa naalalang, thank you Lord. Nadighay lang kaya nakapagpasalamat. Ito po din yung panahon para magpasalamat. Hindi lang po dahil marami tayong natanggap, marami tayong kinain, maraming pailaw, napakaganda ng paligid. Magpasalamat po tayo dahil po ito yung panahon na ipinanganak. Ginugunita natin ang kapanganakan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. At siya po ang tinuturing natin na ilaw ng Pasko. Ilaw ng Pasko, siya po yung tinuturing natin na tagapagligtas mula sa realidad ng kadiriman. Siya po yung magliligtas sa atin mula sa realidad ng kadiliman. Noong unang Pasko po, yung pinakaunang Pasko, may isang between na nagniningning. At yun pong ilaw na yun, eh yung nagsilbing gabay ng tatlong hari para po matuntun nila ang kinalalagyan ng baby Jesus. Dahil po sa ilaw na yun, kahit nag-iisa siya, di ko alam kung nilagyan ng nag-iisang ilaw Diyan sa Bilen. E yun po yung palatandaan ng tatlong hari, kaya po natuntun nila si Jesus. At least, yung kapanahonan ni Jesus, yung ilaw na yun libre, ngayon mahal. 
Minsan po, naging ikot-ikot ako dito sa manawag. Diyan, sa mga sulok-sulok diyan. Tumitingin ako sa mga bahay-bahay. Yung iba po, maraming ilaw. Damang-dama niyo po yung Pasko. Meron din po mga bahay ni isang ilaw na palatandaan ng Pasko. Iwala pong makita. Sa mga wala pong pailaw sa bahay, huwag po kayong mag-alala. At least po, wala po kayong babayarang mahal na kuryente. As long as nasa puso po ninyo na ang panahon ng Pasko ay ang pagdating ng ating Panginoon, sapat na po iyon at dahilan na po iyon para kayo ay matuwa ngayong Pasko. May ilaw man o wala, na mo ay lumiwanag po ang ating puso at kaisipan na ang tunay na diwa ng Pasko, higit sa lahat na meron tayo dito, ay ang ating Panginoong Yesus. Dapat po tayong magbunyi dahil kung gusto niyo pong matupad ang inyong mga wishes, wala po sa bilang ng dami kung, kay, kung gano'ng kayo karami pumunta dito ng gabi at madaling araw, kundi po yung ipinanganak na Heso Kristo, siya po mismo ang tutupad ng inyong mga kagustuhan ngayong Pasko. Nawa po, kumpleto o hindi, dinggin ng Diyos ang panalangin ng bawat isa ngayong pong Kapaskuhan. Please stand. As we are about to celebrate the birthday of the Lord, let us open our hearts in gratitude for this great gift and pray together. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, and fill with your blessing the entire church the Holy Father, and all our religious leaders, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord, and give wisdom to our cultural and political leaders that they may lead our country to days of sincere cooperation and solidarity, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord, and bring your peace to nations at war, to classes and groups that are divided by conflicts of interests, to families dismembered by jealousy and unfaithfulness, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord, to our land and be the comfort of those who suffer or feel neglected, despised, or oppressed, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord, to our parish community and enable us to live this coming Christmas with the disposition of Mary, Most Holy, and Saint Joseph, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord, to our families and to each of us and bring us your forgiveness, your joy, and your peace, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. We pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, we need you. You are our only hope. You are our only Savior. You are our everything. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously make your own, O Lord, the offerings which we bring, that partaking of them, we be cleansed of our sins and merit to stand ready with pure hearts for the coming in glory of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion. Pakibaba na po ang face mask kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin na inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen at isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyo isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng hostia upang maiwasan ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Let us pray. Grant to us who find you vigor, O Lord, in this your wondrous gifts, that as we prepare to celebrate in adoration the festivities of your son's nativity, so may we possess in gladness his everlasting rewards, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for an announcement. Paalala po sa lahat na ang Vigil Mass for the Nativity of the Lord ay magaganap na po bukas, 9pm, at magkakaroon po ng pagdarasal ng Santo Rosario ng 8.40pm. Maraming salamat po. Please stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Mag-ingat po tayo sa pag-uwi. Dala ang saya at iwanag na nanggaling sa Panginoon. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. For nine days, you have been preparing for the commemoration of the Lord's birth. May He reward you for your efforts and fill you with His grace. Amen.
May He remove from your hearts all fears and anxieties. Amen. May He confirm you and your faith and hope. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord Thanks in your neighbor. Thanks be to God. Now let us pray the prayer for the blessing of the sick. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Pakilabas po kung meron kayong mga dala. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawan, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.